Hey guys. Uh, obviously, I know you're disappointed about how, how it ended. When you look at the last three or four years and, and when you think now about what might lie ahead for whoever wants to go first, how are you feeling about where the franchise is at and the, and the direction of the team? Um, yeah, I mean, we, it's, 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 cu it's cup or bus, right? Like, I think for this group, um, you know, just with where everyone's at in their career, um, that's the expectation. And, yeah. yeah, I mean, he said it. We're, we're all here to win. Um, when you don't, it's, it's disappointing, but... Um, you know, talk talk about it within our group, and obviously we got to use that in in a positive way, and, and come back come back next season, make this, the the changes we need to do, and um, yeah, it's cup or bust. So for Connor, sorry, can I just ask Connor one more? You mentioned I think after the LA series, I think he called Jay one of the top three coaches in the NHL. What is it about him that that you think makes him that strong? Thanks. Um, I just think he's so detailed. Um, you know, he's a um, great communicator. Um, you know, all the things that uh, you're looking for in a coach. So, Connor, you, you've gone into the offseason a, a few times really frustrated when the Oilers didn't make the playoffs. Last year, you were greatly optimistic, thinking that this team was you know, ready to push through. In that arc of where the Oilers are, was this your progress? Was this your step back? How do you think that the, the, the evolution of the team is progressing? Um, yeah, well, I think it's, um, it is progress, you know, maybe, maybe it doesn't feel like it today or, um, you know, but I think it is progress. I think we're a better team than we were last year. Um, we got basically everybody coming back, um, and it's just more experiences really, you know, and, uh, you know, that's all positive stuff. So you're eight years into your career. You're still only 26, but are you cognizant of, you know, your biological clock and, and, and when you want to, you know, get to that championship ring that you've been looking for a long time? Are you, are you counting the years? Is that something that's a, a concern for you that you want to see this thing happen s much sooner than later? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I want to win. Uh, you want, everyone wants to win every year. Um, with that being said, I'm 26 years old. I got... Lots of great years ahead. Uh, I'm not worried about uh, time, if that's what you're asking. Leon, uh, how do you feel about kind of the group that's assembled, you know, the core group and the potential that you guys have to push even further in years forward? you feel confident that with the, the pieces that are in place that it, that it is there for you guys moving forward? Uh, yeah, I'm very confident. Um, but you, you got to prove it and you got to show it, right? Um, I think we got the right pieces in place um, to get it done. Um, but again, like I said, it's we can we can talk, we can sit here, talk all we want. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we got to go out there and, and, and just get it done. And obviously, we we couldn't do that this year. Um, and again, just use that as fuel and 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 you know positivity to towards next season and. and you know, ha have an, e an even better summer than last season um, and com come back stronger and a better player. Connor, I know this is still very fresh and you'll sort of process it over the summer, but within a couple of days here, what's your sense of maybe some areas, some steps that you think as a group need to be taken or you can take just in terms of the, the characteristics of your guys' team game and that sort of thing? Um, you know, I think when, when, you're, when there's two, two great teams playing against each other, um, it's just really small little details, um, you know. Um, and I thought we, sorry, I thought we, um, yeah, I thought we uh, made too many mistakes, little mistakes here and there that you know they capitalized on, and that's uh, the margins for error when you're you're playing in the playoffs against a really good team are, are really small, and um, we made too many mistakes, more mistakes than them. Leon, just to kind of follow up on that, like you could, in the series, the power play was great, the penalty kill did very well. Um, even five on five, the underlying numbers were, were very strong. Do you get a sense of kind of how the series was, was lost? <clears throat> um, yeah, I think Con Connor touched on it. Um, 
you know, two good teams going at it. Um, I think sometimes as a team, um, for us, we find a way to to lose games and, and more so beat ourselves than a team actually beating us. Um, we play good teams and sometimes we get beat by a better team. Um, but I think we gotta, we have to find a way to learn how to just not beat ourselves sometimes instead of, you know, we're an attacking team. We're gonna, we're gonna beat teams by the way we play with, with, with our structure and with our speed. But sometimes we gotta find a way to you know, lock it down if that's what you what you want to call it, or just um, you know find a way to to not beat ourselves. And Connor, you said that uh, you felt like this team, that you feel like this team is even better than it was last year, and that gives you obviously, I would assume, some optimism. Why do, why do you feel that way? Why do you feel like your your team is better than than it was even a year ago? Because um, we're better. Um, I I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. I think I just think we're better. <laughs> Connor, over here. Um, just a thought on, you know, you look at the history of the teams that have won the Stanley Cup, and they've always had that window, and they've always been there. They've always been kind of knocking at the door, and obviously they've, you know, they've had disappointments before they kind of break through. Do you feel that your club, though, is there in a sense that you guys, from now on, your window is open, and you will be a contender next year, the year after, the year after, and you and you continue knocking on that door, hoping to break through? Um, yeah, I certainly feel that way. Um, you know, I, I think you look at the, the, the group here, um, everyone signed on for, for the next number of years. Um, nobody's aging. Um, everybody's in the prime of their career. Um, you know, I think we have the opportunity to knock on the door um, as much as we, we want. You know, ultimately, it's going to be up to us to put it all together. Um, and Leon, just for you, um, I know you guys are all about team. I, I, get, I get that. But you guys both had a remarkable individual season. Does this, the, the fact that you guys didn't get to where you wanted to as a team tarnish that at all? Or do you guys still take pride in the fact of what you did on the ice? Um, I don't think anyone's going home whenever that is today, whenever, and thinking about their personal stats. You know, we're, I think we're all going home thinking about man, I, I wish we're still playing, you know? I want to keep playing. I want to win a cup. So this is what we do. You know, we have guys like Rhino that their roles are just as important as, as what he does, what I do. You know, yes, we're, we get paid to do what we do, but um, it's all about winning. It's it's about winning. We've been fortunate enough to, to have won personal awards. You know, no one cares about that. No one's writing about that in the media right now about heart trophies or whatever it is, you know, everyone's talking about how, how teams are moving on into the conference finals, the finals. Um, you know, that's that's what we want to do, so, yeah. Go ahead. Um, this is from, for Leon from a reporter not here. Uh, he's interested in wondering if you're uh, going to be going to the World Hockey Championship. Uh, I'm talking to Team Germany right now and uh, just trying to figure some things out, so we'll see. And for both of you, I don't know if you had a chance to see Kyle Dubas yesterday in Toronto, but you could just see the weight of the world on his shoulders. And you guys are the faces of this franchise. Do you feel that the weight, when you fail to um, meet your expectations, your own expectations, team-wise, what's that like? How, how do you handle that, just kind of like to move forward here? Um, yeah, there's... There's, there's expectations, but I think most of the expectations come from within ourselves, you know, from within our room. Um, you know, we want to win here. There's, there's no, nowhere else that we want to win. Um, so expectations are there. Um, you, you obviously have to deal with them in, in your own way at times, but um, we're all here to win, and we, we all want the same thing. So have a good summer, come back, and go back at it again. Connor, following a disappointment like this, I know there's going to be opportunities to reflect. But right now, in the current situation, what have you learned most that you're going to use in future years, beginning next regular season, that is the biggest takeaway that you can apply in future playoff runs? Um, yeah, I think just, you know, that, that, that kind of empty feeling that you're kind of left with, um, you know, I think it's great fuel 
you know, you don't want to feel that feeling um, uh, anymore. Um, I think that's great fuel. I think for for us too, just understanding, you know, how far away it is just to be back in that very same position, you know. And then we all got to go home and train all summer long and come back and go through camp and play 82 more regular season games just to get back to the very same spot. Um, and just understanding that when you're in the when you're there and you're playing in the in the series, it's you got to do anything to uh, to to keep it going or win a game or, or whatever, because um, um, you know it's it's a lot of work that goes into it just to get into that position. Um, and here we find ourselves, you know, a year away again. Connor, you talked about the fact that you guys are signed and you're here. But we're about a year away from those conversations starting with contracts coming up and such. Can you just articulate what it means for you guys to be here trying to do this together and how you don't know what the future is going to hold necessarily, but you're here now together and what it would mean to be able to do this while you're here? Um, yeah, um, it means a lot. You know, you know, obviously Leo and I have uh, been here our whole careers. Uh, we've been through um, some bad years, um, some disappointments, another disappointment this year. Um, but at the same time, I look at I look at the the culture that you know we've built here. I look at where the organization sits today, um, and I take a lot of pride. I take a lot of pride in that. I think um, our core here has really built something. Um, you know really from, from scratch, really from the ground up. Um, you know, and I think uh, we take a lot of pride in that. Um, and to see it through, um, obviously with the guys that um, you've been with the whole time, like Leo, like Mercy, like Nuge, and um, is what it's all about, right? That's what it's about. Um, so, yeah. Leon, can you maybe just, just speak to that idea too of what it means, you know, I know you guys are close and you, close with your core group that, you know, this might not be an infinite setup, but what it means to, to be here right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Connor said most of it. Um, you know, when you go through hard times and, and you kind of stick together and there, there hasn't been any changes to the core group, um, you know, it, it feels like we've really, starting with, with, with Connor, uh, we've really created a culture here. Um, where it's about winning and and playing successful hockey and, and meaningful hockey when it matters and um, I think we've done a good job of that. So I think when you when you play with certain guys for such a long time, it just with every year like you almost want it more and more because you you you, you just want to win it with them so badly, right? Um, so yeah, it, it would mean the world to 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 all of us. But there's a lot of work that goes in and we're aware of that and. Um, Try and try next year.